rating plus 136 plus x scp 1190 in a powered off state edited to remove identifying features of its location item hash scp 1190 object class safe special containment procedures scp 1190 is to be contained in a secured temperature controlled observation room the observation room must provide accommodations for long-term living, to include the cot for sleeping, a restroom, and a food preparation area. Video surveillance equipment is to be installed outside the observation windows to record the device's output as well as any input provided by SCP-1190-1. All recordings from the surveillance equipment are to be permanently archived for study. A nurse or nurse assistant must be available to care for SCP-1190-1. Nurse duties include delivery of food, bathing, feeding, application of medicine, administration of intravenous feeding systems, and other tasks necessary for the care of a potentially severely disabled person. Personnel are not to interact directly with SCP-1190 except for D-class personnel cleared to be used as test subjects. Any D-class subjects to be used for testing SCP-1190 were to be cleared with site administration for a stay of execution during the course of the experiment. Procedure update following experiment 1190-1. The floor of the observation room must have a central drain for eliminating waste. Procedure update following experiment 1190-2. SCP-1190 is to be powered at all times, with backup batteries and a DCL generator in case of power failure. Description SCP-1190 is a 1973 Hewlett-Packard 3000 computer system. Installed on the device is a program which performs a physics simulation, beginning with the known origins of the universe. Observation of this simulation suggests that it is capable of simulating physical phenomena beyond our current understanding. While running the program, SCP-1190 exhibits an explicably powerful processing capability, an anomaly which does not persist while the device performs other tasks. Attempts to decompile the program or to move it to a different device have failed. The program appears to be corrupt to all observations and actions beyond running it on SCP-1190. Aside from its anomalous performance characteristics and the inexplicably accurate logic used by the simulation, the only other notable physical characteristic of SCP-1190 is that it is unusually well maintained for its age, otherwise, it appears to be a normal example of a computer of its make and model. When the program is executed on SCP-1190, the screen displays, press enter to begin. Any individual who activates the program stored on SCP-1190 will become fascinated with the simulation. The individual will want to intervene in the development of the virtual universe to cause it to proceed according to the individual's personal ideals. The individual is designated SCP-1190-1. Over time, SCP-1190-1 will become more obsessed with the simulation, increasingly neglecting personal needs in favor of managing the virtual universe. Documentation of known commands can be obtained with consent from at least one personnel having clearance level 2 1190th are greater. However, the documentation is believed to be far from complete. Each new subject intuits new commands over time, and while video of the subject's input and the observable results on the simulation have been archived, the exact effects of many commands haven't yet become clear. History SCP-1190 came to the attention of the Foundation via an asset embedded in the Security Department of Laboratories. On a janitor at laboratories reported to security that an unpleasant smell was coming from a disused office. In the office, the responding security officer found a researcher who was thought to have been missing for several weeks. DC, hereby designated SCP-11901A, 
operating SCP-1190 and surrounded by days of her own refuse and waste. SCP-11901 had at some point brought several days' worth of food and water to the office, but only a small amount of water remained. SCP-11901A displayed symptoms of stage 3 starvation, flaking skin, thinning hair, and insufficient strength to sit up properly. However, SCP-11901A was still operating SCP-1190 while muttering inaudibly. The security officer attempted to administer aid, but SCP-11901A was uncooperative until the officer disconnected the power to SCP-1190. SCP-11901A became violent and attempted to attack the officer, but because of the aforementioned symptoms was easily subdued. SCP-11901A expired from systemic infection secondary to starvation while being rushed to the hospital, plus transcript of video taken by security officer, transcript of video taken by security officer, officer, D, is that you, ugh, it stinks in here, are you okay, quote, SCP-11901A, inaudible, officer, Holly, Expletive redacted. D. Your hair. Your skin. What happened to you? Psychops. We need medical on floor. Office immediately. Ugh. What the hell are you sitting in? Stay with me, girl. Quote. SCP 11901A. Inaudible. Officer attempts to remove SCP 11901A from the terminal. But she resists. Officer. Hey. What's going on here? You need help. Let me help you. Quote. Officer waves hand in front of SCP-11901A and gets no response. The officer then unplugs SCP-1190 from the wall. Officer. You've got to focus. Stay with me. Quote. SCP-11901A. You, you killed them, M murderer. You killed them all. Quote. SCP-11901A attempts to lunge at the officer, but lacks the strength to stay upright and collapses. SCP-11901A claws at the officer's legs. Officer. W. What are you doing? You've got to hold still. Ouch. Hey. I'm here to help you. Quote. The officer restrains SCP-11901A with a pair of handcuffs. Officer. Secops. You'd better get a stretcher up here. Something with restraints. I just found D and she is delirious and in bad shape. Quote. SCP-11901A. Billions. You killed billions. They needed me. I gave them paradise. And you killed them. Monster. Quote. SCP-1190 was taken into containment by the Foundation on Experiment Logs. Plus excerpts from experiment log 1190-1. Excerpts from experiment log 1190-1. Subject. D-Class Personnel D-11593 is a 53-year-old Caucasian male. Subject Background. A former network administrator. D-11593 is a sociopath convicted on six counts of torture and murder in the first degree. D-11593. Hereafter referred to as SCP-11901-B, was selected for this experiment due to high scores on computer aptitude tests. Day 1, SCP-11901-B was locked in the observation room for SCP-1190. Subject was instructed to begin the simulation, and to keep a diary during the experiment. Subject was given no further instructions. Day 2. SCP-11901-B spent two hours tending to the simulation. Excerpt from Subject Diary. They're making me run some kind of simulation. It seems. So far all I can see are a bunch of white pixels moving away from each other. I can make them move a little faster or a little slower. But that's about it. Quote. Day 7. SCP-11901-B spent eight hours tending to the simulation. Excerpt from Subject Diary. The stars. They have planets. I figured out how to start a chain reaction in a star that makes it supernova and take out a bunch of planets with it. 
Maybe if I fast forward enough, I can find one with some playthings. Quote, Day 12. SCP-11901-B spent 14 hours tending to the simulation. The rest of the day was spent sleeping and eating with no recreation. Excerpt from Subject Diary. I found another planet with some life starting. I shouldn't have broken the last planet with life. It took me too long to find another one. This time I think I'll be more subtle and see how much a life form can take before it just can't live anymore. Quote, Day 20. SCP-11901-B spent 18 hours tending to the simulation. Subject ate at the terminal, leaving only to sleep and use the restroom. Excerpt from Subject Diary. I figured out how to keep the creatures I created alive. Even when most of them just want to die, the young ones cry and shake from the pain. But as they get older, they seem to get used to it. I have to figure out a way to change up the pain as they get older. So it will never end. Quote, Day 42. SCP-11901-B spent 20 hours tending to the simulation. Subject ate at the terminal. And only left the simulation to use the restroom. SCP-11901-B fell asleep for four hours at the desk. Upon waking up, subject displayed some anxiety about having drifted off. When instructed to write in the journal, SCP-11901-B became agitated and had to be threatened with an electric prod before complying. Excerpt from Subject Diary The last of the creatures from Planet 7 died out today while I was asleep. I should have been there so it wouldn't have been so quick. Now they're making me spend more time away from the universe to write this entry. Who knows what else I'll miss. I suppose I was getting bored anyway. They can only scream so much. I think this time, I'll make the life on planets 12 and 13 evolve so they are perfect for killing each other. Then open up a wormhole between the planets and see who wins. Quote, Day 84 SCP-11901-B spent 24 hours tending to the simulation. Subject no longer eats independently, and has been placed on intravenous feeding. The nurse has to give the subject sponge baths, and a drain has been installed in the floor so waste can be flushed. In addition, the nurse has been instructed to regularly manipulate the subject's extremities to mitigate complications from long-term immobility. When instructed to write in the journal, subject remains unresponsive, even if shocked with an electric prod. Transcript of Surveillance Video SCP-11901-B No, it can't be over this soon. I know. I'll bring them back. Let them fight it out again. Day 105 SCP-11901-B suffered from a pulmonary embolism resulting from a deep vein thrombosis. Subject began to have trouble breathing and started coughing. The research assistant on duty called for the nurse, who was off duty and took nearly 30 minutes to respond. By the time the nurse arrived, the subject's symptoms had transitioned to bloody coughing and collapse. Before losing consciousness, SCP-11901-B rendered the simulation unusable by bringing about the destruction of the virtual universe. SCP-11901-B was transferred to medical, where an anticoagulant was administered, but SCP-11901-B expired from sudden cardiac death. Transcript of Surveillance Video SCP-11901-B begins exhibiting trouble breathing, including wheezing and coughing. Research Assistant Drive Hey, what's going on with our guy? Get the nurse to check him out. Quote Approximately 30 minutes elapses before SCP-11901-B begins coughing up blood. SCP-11901-B. What? What's happening? SCP-1190-1B's posture becomes limp during onset of collapse. The nurse arrives and is cleared to enter the observation room. SCP-11901-B. I can't leave them alone. If I go, they're coming with me. Quote, Nurse, we've got tachypnea, hemoptysis and cyanosis. 
We need to get him to medical immediately. Quote, SCP-11901B loses consciousness. Nurse was reprimanded for responding to a Priority 3 page in excess of 10 minutes. Video of this incident is under consideration for staff training purposes. Plus excerpts from Experiment, Log 1190-2. Excerpts from Experiment, Log 1190-2. Subject. D-Class Personnel D14899 is a 37-year-old Hispanic female. Subject Background A former professional artist, D14899 was convicted on two counts of murder after one of her art pieces was vandalized. D14899, hereafter referred to as SCP-11901-C, was selected for this experiment due to an artistic background. Day 1 SCP-11901-C was locked in the observation room for SCP-1190. Subject was instructed to begin the simulation and to keep a diary during the experiment. SCP-11901-C was given no further instructions. Day 2. SCP-11901-C spent one hour tending to the simulation. Excerpt from Subject Diary this place is like so many other prisons. And yet unlike them, I heard sounds, or maybe I didn't, in the other areas. Had strange feelings. Ideas came into my mind. Inspirations. I want to paint them.